Microsoft is one of the biggest platform that is out there. Um, I think in the last two three years, the rate at which Azure adoption has happened across the Fortune 500, which also includes manufacturing. Okay, so as an enterprise SaaS company, how does Maximal look at leveraging Microsoft while solving for manufacturing space? Looking at just from the aspect of solving this problem, right, and taking the um, mission of democratizing technology for the frontline, uh, that is what Maximal uh, is very passionate about. Uh, I think just from that perspective, right, um, there are two parts that as a SaaS company, what uh, you would need is, let's say, access to these, these customers and how can you reduce the friction of your product being in the hands of the uh, of the frontline workers, right? Uh, in the factory space. So that is one area in which, of course, uh, Microsoft is one of the biggest platform that is out there. Uh, I think in the last two, three years, the rate at which Azure adoption has happened across the Fortune 500, which also includes manufacturing, right? Uh, we've seen, because of the Office 365 suit, uh, the rest of the the uh, the spreadsheet PowerPoint were always the one of the favorites for uh, for the persona that we are talking about. Uh, Teams has also taken off in a big big way, right? We have seen that change happening right in front of us uh, over the last couple of years specifically. So uh, one one point is around the access that the platform brings in from a tech standpoint. So we have uh, we've we thought of integrating. We are, we are very soon launching our app onto the Teams platform itself. So, which solves the delivery problem in, in a very beautiful way. Each of the work, knowledge workers that we are talking about, right? If let's say today, any uh, leading chemical player or any leading metals player is 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 uh, is on Office 365 suit, they can access the their maintenance processes, workflows, their SOPs. They can learn and engage and on, get onboarded uh, onto their processes through the Teams interface itself, right? So. Um, I think the idea is that uh, in terms of empowering the frontline workers, we want to give them tools that 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 they really use during their eight hour, 10 hour work that, that they do. And I think Teams has taken a good, good space already. So I think we can add a lot of value. On a strategic level as well, we see a lot of uh, uh, push as, as a great partner because Microsoft at a, at, at, uh, at a very high level has thought about the manufacturing sector and its need needs uh, in a very clear way right so there's a ma manufacturing cloud for, uh, for there's a microsoft cloud for manufacturing uh, uh, initiative that has been driven right which talks about various different verticals and we specifically contribute in a huge huge way to the workforce transformation bit where uh, aspects of frontline worker empowerment while they execute the job as well as how they are going to learn and how they're going to manage the knowledge uh, that is generated on the shop floor and and, and 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 the ones that flows in from various different knowledge consultants and, and so on right so that is a, a part that maximal solves in a big way today already and i think we can bring a lot to uh, to to the uh, initiatives that are out there and the second part of it is that how do we connect all of these systems and bring the right data and knowledge to the right person at the right time while they're executing right so uh, being that integrated and connected player um, along with the Microsoft Cloud because uh, all the suite of solutions uh, that are supposed to be used by a manufacturing worker over time are going to come migrate towards cloud. So I think that's the right medium for you to be present. So I think those are the two big uh, areas where we believe that we can leverage the capabilities and the, and the strengths that uh, Microsoft specifically in the manufacturing context has already built and is uh, has a very declared and a clear intent of, of, of doing it. So we are thinking about um, uh, solving vertical problems on top of the things that Microsoft would be doing, right? On, on top of it, right? So there's of course an independent path of delivery and independent path of value creation. But I think there's certainly an interaction effect to the access and delivery mechanisms that uh, Microsoft brings, which we 100% are going to leverage.